Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. We will uh, talk about your ascendant lord, your first house lord in the 10th house and we will understand what this placement means. Uh, to understand that we will first uh, talk about and understand what the 10th house is. We already have a fair idea of what the first house is. It's you, it's your personality, it signifies your body and any planet in the first house is also of equal importance as your lagna. All right. So uh, the 10th house, the 10th house, uh, a lot of people have confusion about the 10th house. The 10th house is your career. A lot of people uh, uh, wonder if it's a job or if it's uh, your business. What do we see from there? Okay. Some astrologers say that your uh, 6th house is your job and 7th house you see business. So what is the 10th house? All right. So 10th house is, has been defined by the saints as the karmsthan or the things that you do to be known to the rest of the world. If you're an educator, you'll be known as a professor. If you are a co or a coach of sorts, if you're into politics, you'll be known as a, a politician, right? So the things that you do to make money for yourself, to be, uh, to get fame, to be known to the rest of the world. Now, if it's through employment or it is through business, that is what we see from the sixth house and the seventh house, whichever is stronger. If the sixth house is stronger than the seventh house, usually people are inclined towards employment. And if there are, uh, if the seventh house is stronger and a person has uh, inclination for business, we also see the third house of courage. Then uh, we see uh, business, but we see it from the tenth house that what kind, what, what is he going to do? What kind we will see from the seventh and sixth. Okay, it is, it is, the 10th house is something that the world sees you as. It's very similar to Arudhara. It's not the Arudhara Lagna, but it's similar to Arudhara Lagna. Okay, so the first house is you, your personality, your body, and the first lord going to the 10th house also cause, uh, forms a very powerful yoga. It can cause a very, very powerful Raj Yoga and Dhan Yoga. It's a powerful placement for the Ascendant Lord, which means this person is definitely going to do something in life. Hopefully good things. All right. So the 10th house asks for power and fame. So usually people uh, who have a strong 10th house, uh, they reach eventually with hard work or uh, whatever they do, uh, they reach... Uh, high positions in company, right? They could be managers because this is a powerful position. See, 10th house is a Kendra house. It's a powerful house. So the first house lot there makes it very, very powerful, especially if it's getting aspected by its uh, friendly planets or it is getting aspected by uh, benefits. And the results will not be so strong if it has been aspected by malefics. Okay, so this is the house which uh, gives a very, very senior position in uh, an organization or if you're running a business, it can give you lots of gains. It can also uh, show success in uh, politics. A lot of people consider the 10th house also the house of your father. A lot of astrologers also say that the 9th house is the house of your father. Well, it's kind of related, but the 9th house is the house of gurus. Your father could be your first teacher. So, uh, you know, your uh, ninth house and your father can uh, is probably connected with each other. Okay. So, this is your karma sthan. This is your work, your things that you're supposed to do in your life in your 10th house. If there are many planets in your 10th house, it needs to be studied. And uh, when you go through uh, Mahadashas of these planets, uh, the results are according to how the planets are placed and what the conjunctions are. So we will go planet by planet and see how uh, the results are. We'll start with Mars. So Mars, if you're in the 10th house, has extreme directional strength, also called as Dikbal. So if it's in the sign of uh, Capricorn, it can give you a very, very strong position in the society. People uh, in the armed forces are seen from there. People who are in the police are seen from there. Politicians can be seen from this position. 
soldier. So see, Mars is the warrior. It, it is exalted there. So if you're an Aries ascendant, it's a exaltation. Because uh, Mars finds uh, discipline and structure and organization in the sign of Capricorn. Although it's an enemy sign for uh, Mars. If you're a Scorpio ascendant, it can give great results in government related jobs. Also uh, into anything to do with research. Archaeology is, can be seen when you're working for the government. Because Scorpio is all about research. Research related fields. And since Leo is there and Mars is very powerful in Leo. And if your son is also well placed, you can have long term employment with um, in the government. Administrative positions can be seen from there. Even entertainment industry can be seen from there because Leo signifies the entertainment ind industry. Negatives. People can become extremely harsh. You see Mars in the 10th house. So if you have a boss in the uh, with Mars in the 10th house, you will have very, very hard, can have very, very um, harsh communication. Can be absolutely to the point. Maybe not talk at, at all. Maybe say just one or two things to the point. Try to small talk with them. They will probably not want to engage with you. So if you have this uh, particular placement, make sure that uh, p your employees and the people who work with you uh, do not fear you and you are an approachable person. Also, if, uh, um, if Saturn, we have to look at Saturn because it's the original house of Capricorn, right? Because uh, we must look at Saturn and if Saturn is uh, not very well placed, then people uh, um, may uh, have a lot of conflict. Because see, Mars is a warrior. Wherever Mars goes, Mars wants to find his way through aggression and uh, competition. So since uh, Mars, uh, you know, has such directional strength in this particular uh, side, okay, in this particular direction, people can get extremely competitive. And because of that competition, sometimes uh, they can uh, uh, become uh, Rude and arrogant. So make sure that you don't get the negative traits with this combination. Venus, if you have Venus in this particular uh, placement, Venus, you can uh, uh, do lots of things. You can do any kind of uh, uh, business or you can be employed with uh, anything where uh, women are the end users. You can be into the beauty industry. You can be into artwork. You can be into banking if you're a Taurus ascendant. You can get into the food and beverages industry as well. If you are a Libra ascendant, you are, this is a uh, this can be a very very good placement for business. Again, in the food and beverage uh, beverages industry, it could be in the healthcare industry as well. We have to look at the position of Saturn. We have to look at the dispositor. We have to see where Moon is placed as well because Moon is very important. We have to see how uh, how you think about things, right? Because ascendant is the body. And ascendant is your personality. But we have to look at it from the moon. If Jupiter sits, uh, sits in the uh, 10th house, we can see education related industry. We can also uh, see the person being very spiritual. Could be a person of principles. If uh, Rahu is involved, they can be into the education, online education industry. They could be also into IT. They could be into fitness and healthcare. If Rahu sits there, there is definitely something uh, to do with uh, technology. People, if just Rahu is sitting there alone, uh, people could switch a lot of jobs. In uh, 15 years, you will see they have tried everything. Saturn becomes very powerful. Their long-term employment and success in businesses is seen from there. People with Saturn in this placement uh, can become uh, very uh, hardworking, very structured, very organized, very disciplined as well because it's Saturn's own house. Mercury, if he sits there, Mercury is a sign of business, can, uh, can be very good for uh, asset management, can be very good for accounting, anything to do with numbers, analysis, can be uh, for the communication industry. Media, social media is all seen from uh, Mercury being there. Real estate can be seen from there. Anything where dealing with two different parties is seen from Mercury. Mercury also does quite well 
in the the tenth house we have to see the position of uh, 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 Saturn and see where if Saturn is well placed, then uh, they can. Uh, this is a great uh, placement for Mercury for people to make lots of money. Even if Saturn sits there, people can make uh, lots of money and success over a period of time. Okay, if Ketu sits there, people may lack uh, interest. They might uh, they 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 may make a lot of money with their professions, but they might lack interest in the profession. Because Ketu uh, can give lack of interest wherever the uh, Ketu in the tenth house can give lack of interest as well. Moon in the tenth uh, house can uh, uh, give uh, in the fitness industry, in the healthcare and fitness industry. Coaches, you see these uh, uh, fitness coaches on social media can be seen from Moon. Food and beverages industry, health care can be seen. Joint partnership with your family can be seen. You can also see politics in certain cases. All right. So uh, this these are my thoughts on the tenth house. If I have missed out a planet, I think I've covered all the planets. I've spoken about Saturn, Venus, Mars, uh, Jupiter, Moon. Sun uh, in the, sorry, Sun in the 10th house, very, very powerful. Sun in the 10th house can give government related jobs. Uh, it can also give you asset management, uh, government jobs in banks. Can also make you a consultant. Can also give you a career in politics. If Sun is very, very strong and Venus is very strong and Saturn is strong, you can become a politician if you have Sun in the 10th house. All right. Sun in the 10th house can also may, uh, give you great interest in the entertainment and the creative industry. Can also give you success in the food and beverages industry. All right. That's all I have for you. Uh, uh, please look at uh, my other videos where I've analyzed the 10th house of career. I've made lots of videos if you want to know about your career and 10th house uh, in uh, the playlist here. So take a look at that. And if you like this video, please uh, hit the subscribe button and share the video with your friends and family. Thank you very much.